is some controversy over a new depression study. You may have seen a wave of headlines this week saying that a new study shows basically everything we thought we knew about depression isn't true. And you've probably heard this before, that depression is caused by a chemical imbalance in the brain, specifically serotonin. It's on this premise that the majority of antidepressants are based, which represent a more than $11 billion global market. More than 37 million Americans take antidepressants, most of them SSRIs, which work to correct the balance of serotonin. So this newspaper summarizes that there is in fact no hard evidence to support that depression is caused by a disturbance of the brain's serotonin. And joining us now is Dr. Joanna Moncrief, the person behind this paper published in Molecular Psychiatry. Dr. Moncrief, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. We're certainly glad to have you on uh, because what's really important is you are not saying that antidepressants don't work, right? It's that scientists just don't understand why they work. Well, what, what our research shows is that we don't understand the biology behind depression and that the theory that we had that depression was related to low serotonin levels, which was the basis of the development of modern antidepressants, turns out not to be supported by, by evidence. So that then raises the question of if, if antidepressants aren't correcting an underlying abnormality of serotonin, what are they doing exactly? And we know that they are uh, you know, modifying brain chemicals in some way, but we don't know that they're correcting the an abnormality. So that that should make us ask, um, you know, what th these are drugs? They're they're changing the state of the brain, uh, and and that might make us think a little bit more carefully. I think about what they might be doing to us, particularly if we take them for long periods of time, and, and urge us, I think, to be more cautious about using them. Interesting. Uh, were you surprised at all by some of the controversy or the pushback, uh, some accusing you specifically of being anti-psychiatry? How would you respond to that? Yes, I, I mean, it, it's been extraordinary, and I think it's been extraordinary because you know, this has been such a such a prevalent idea for so many years, and we've shown that actually it's not supported by the evidence. But not only that, people haven't been told, even though many people in the psychiatric community have known that the serotonin theory is pretty shaky for a long time. People, the public, have not been told that, and so I think it's it's caused some embarrassment for the psychiatric community, and also people are very defensive about antidepressant drugs. And this does raise questions about what they're doing. And I think it does demand that people think about them differently. Uh, and, 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 that, and that has caused, you know, that has caused concern because obviously millions and millions of people around the world are taking these drugs and many of them have been taking them for a long time. Absolutely. And, you know, circling back on your point, the 37 million Americans uh, who do take antidepressants, many of them SSRIs, many people do say, this has changed my life. It has worked for me. What would you say to those people? What does your study actually say about that? Well, our, our study isn't, isn't directly about what antidepressants do. <clears throat> but I think it's important for people to know that the evidence base for antidepressants it consists of randomized controlled trials that compare antidepressants against a placebo pill. And those trials show that the difference between an antidepressant and a placebo is very small. And they also show that the majority of the response that happens, to, the, the majority of improvement that happens in those trials um, occurs in people who are on the placebo as well as on the antidepressants. So, they show that, that the majority of the effect of an antidepressant is a placebo effect. So, so, you know, so that's partly why many, many people feel better when they're on an antidepressant. Dr. Moncrief, I appreciate that. I do want to make sure we bottom line this, though. This does not mean that any viewers at home who are watching this should stop taking their antidepressants, right? No, no, no that's really important to say, <clears throat> particularly because antidepressants can cause physical dependence. And so if people stop them, especially if they stop them suddenly, they can get some unpleasant withdrawal symptoms. Sometimes those can be quite severe. So it's really important people don't stop them suddenly. And really important that people, if people do want to rethink their treatment, that they go and see their doctor. And if they want to try and come off them, that they do that slowly and gradually and with support. 
All right, Dr. Dr. Moncrief, we know it is very early in the UK right now. Thank you so much for making the time. Thanks for joining us. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.